Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more red versus blue, you guys. Oh my goodness, the last batch. Um, I don't want to say it was my favorite batch of the season, but I'm not saying it's not my favorite batch. I'd, re I'd really, I'd have to, we've had some good stuff this season. We really, really have, but gosh, you guys, last time was just so flipping good. Um, I will briefly get into any lingering thoughts I have. I already said a lot um, last time, and I think I've mostly said my piece, but I will just briefly kind of let you know how I'm feeling this week. Um, before I do that, I do just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so very much. And as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, Still, thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you're joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much for that. Um, all right, guys. Uh, I did not know how badly I needed the <laughs> Felix Locus backstory um, you guys will come in with a, I'm not going to be able to remember all the fun facts and trivia and like details and everything on command here that you guys came at me with. Um, that's, that sounds way too aggressive, like that you came to me with. <laughs> no one came at me. Um, but there was just so much like extra info, like subplots that didn't make it to the story and just like. A lot of uh, fun details that you guys filled me in on after the fact, which I just thought was amazing. And I just love the amount of care and detail that went into that story. Um, and also, I mean, I feel like while we, while I didn't feel like anything was really missing from their, from their story that we saw in the Course Trilogy, I don't know about you, but I really wanted to know more. Like, I, um... I was hoping for like a like a bigger origin story at some point. So um, I, I wouldn't say it was like the story was lacking in any way, but I am so grateful that they took the time to actually do that. Um, getting to see Felix, who, uh, by the way, his name was in there too, was in the credits. Um, I didn't catch it at the end, but uh, we got to know like everyone's real names. We met like a new part. We met, so um, Mason was a new person. I, I honestly was not sure. I'm like, am I missing something? Am I forgetting something? No, that was a new person. And we don't really know what happened to him, but we can take some guesses or inferences as to what may have happened along the way, hanging out with Felix and Logos. Um, but just getting to see uh, the the beginnings of a lot of the things we came to know later, like the manipulation and the dynamic between Felix and Logos and the way that Felix is like talking Locus into things and and so forth. Um, it was really interesting, and it makes me wonder. Like at the beginning of that, I'm like, wow. Like even Felix seems like a somewhat decent person here. And by the end of it, I was like, okay. I feel like his injuries just happened to align with something decent. But like you can see how even here he um, he's really just kind of making his own rules as he goes. Um, but it was just fantastic. It was just, I, I loved it. It was Moi Chef's Kiss. Um, did not think I would ever get it, but I was so pleased to actually get it. The nice little recruitment video was just like a wonderful cherry on top to top off the day last week. I have been cracking up about it all week. And just certain jokes from it, like the copy paste red and blue that just, it, it doesn't matter how much they used it. Um, it just cracked me up. Um, so yeah, so I really enjoyed the last batch. Um, I'm looking forward to today. Uh, the great thing about season 14 is you don't really know what you're going to get going into each, uh, story and everything. Like it could be literally anything. There's no kind of continuing story, which I think is kind of fun. It's like, a um, a little like a mystery surprise, uh, sort of thing and I for one can't wait to see what we have ahead of us today so without further ado what do you say we go ahead and we jump right in to the next episodes episodes not episode because we're doing what are we doing today we're doing 13 14 15 and 16 so next batch red versus blue let's do this 
Okay, I am gonna keep an eye on the sound because I had to get new earbuds this weekend and I don't know what the sound situation is gonna be. Who would win in a fight? Now, if oh. that's not the most popular question asked around Project Freelancer, I don't know what is. The title no, wait, is looking pretty good. Hey, where do these AI keep coming from? Or have you <gasps> noticed that we're looking pretty evil lately? Have you anyway, noticed the evil? Been plenty of action-packed punch-outs and kick-ass karate matches over the years, but we never really saw a matchup between two of our heaviest hitters, Carolina and Yeah! Let's I knew by the title. Dawn of Awesome. Dawn of Awesome. Okay, that should be the tagline for anything and everything. You ever wonder? No. Only hopeless nerds on the internet care about that kind of crap. Uh, yeah? Why do you think I'm asking you? Come on, picture it. It'd be totally badass. Well, yeah, I guess. Mean. Would definitely win, though. Bullshit. You're just picking her because you're scared of girls. That is way scarier. I you think she... Oh, I didn't um... scariness was the deciding factor in a fight to the fucking death. <laughs> There's a lot of factors. What are you talking about? Oh, Griff was just asking what would happen if Carolina and Meta fought. By who? One another. Is that who? What? What? N each. Never my sweetheart. Oh, you be death battle. Death battle, obviously. I mean, sure. Oh, oh, let's go. Hang on. I know some smart people that can help. Be right back. Oh, we're doing this. We're doing this. Yeah, this is happening. What he's talking about? No. We're but we're I making this a whole thing. Wrong. Okay, I'm back. That was fast. Yep, I call Command and Nate that two of their best we call Command fighting for this. people to help us. Their best. Really. And that's how you write your name in Bookshut. Right. What? <laughs> screwing around. <laughs> the names! Oh, Boomstick and Wiz! Thank you for getting the Command's best. It's just a little competent. It's a donut. I rest my case. It's your dog, Jake. I mean... Jake and Boomstick! It's Wiz and Boomstick. That wow. yeah, I was. Those are mm. the dumbest names I've ever heard. Frankly, the other one was worse though. Donut. And I, I think it's a great name. Statement. Yeah, well you've got the dumbest I love the name. I've ever seen. Uh, I thought you were supposed to be smart. I'm wearing a helmet. Oh my God, me too. All right, so how you guys do this? You just draw names <laughs> out of a hat, cast some chicken bones around. It's our job to analyze their weapons. <laughs> what is the process? To find out who would win a death battle. This is a whole thing. It's a whole thing. It like that. It's a just, it, just watch. It's oh, there we go. There it is. Yeah, that's why. That's because we're gonna. It's a, it's a whole production, you guys. Before, it's a. It's yeah. Blue, there was <laughs> Project Freelancer. The freelancers were highly trained it's like a whole other program. Weaponry and a mission <laughs> so secret, not even they knew what it was. Kinda stupid in hindsight, but these were Man. true soldiers. The biggest and strongest of them all was Agent Maine. Maine. Oh, was the Maine. Of the team, relying on his brute strength. Oh, okay. And his unwavering ferocity We've got some stats. His foes. I mean, well, this is like a whole like MMA WWE kind of. He really likes a certain alien grenade launcher he stole. The Okay. Grenade launcher, aka the brute shot. Oh, okay, all right. Seriously, look at this thing. It's got a <laughs> Why are we playing elevator music now? Three seconds. Let's test that, shall we? Oh my god! Come on, give it back! What? Ah! Ah! <sighs> well, in conclusion, good god. This thing. So the guy was a badass fighter. Too bad Project Freelancer ended up turning him into a monster. Long story short, it's a tragic the director story. Project Freelancer received a rare artificial intelligence for testing. The director imagined an army it's a nice of super little soldiers recap. with AIs, but he could only get the one. Being the resourceful scientist he was, the director resourceful. decided to torture the AI, forcing it to separate its raw so it was really, and really rough. personalities to save itself. It was really rough. These personalities were captured as individual AI fragments and paired with different freelancers. Trust right. me, that's science. It's how it science works, simple. guys. Don't question the it. AI fragment representing ambition and creativity. And apparently being creative means you're fucking evil. Desperate to gather his fellow uh, AI fragments and reform so into a perfect AI, Sigma manipulated and brainwashed Maine, turning him into the murdering psychopath known as the Meta. 
The meta went on right. rampage, betraying his fellow Ew. freelancers and stealing their AIs. He was like the predator, but bigger, meaner, and he with was, tons of overpowered equipment. He, he was an overpowered tech predator. Force field. It can block bullets I mean, look at all these stats, though. Like, we put some real thought into this. Allow us to demonstrate. <laughs> Soothing music. Here's Grip inside an energy shield. Yeah, so? And here's a tank upgraded by Caboose. And what could go wrong? Oh, dear. Oh, oh no. Boy, <laughs> Let's try that again, Blue Buddy. Yes, sir, Captain Titan. I, that's okay. That's not the name. <laughs> oh, Griff, Griff is a Griff is really a mm, guinea pig this time. Oh, now they're playing the song. His strength boost enhancement grants him well super strength, and most impressively, his temporal distortion device can slow time to a crawl. I mean, this turn is a nice invisible little and highlight time. reel. This guy sounds unstoppable. Unfortunately, running so much equipment alongside so many AI fragments consumes a lot of power. It's it's but yeah. That hasn't it's stopped him from killing several freelancers and stealing seven true. other AIs. True. Not to mention, the dude can take a hit and keep on going, even when that hit is taking nine shots point blank to the. I uh, that's a, that's Man, I mean. My voice made my throat hurt. No wonder he never talks. <laughs> The only Aww. thing that could stop him was a couple feel of right idiots laughing. stabbed him in the chest, tied him to a car, and threw that car off a cliff into the that, freezing ocean. Yeah. Well, let's be fair, Wiz. That's a pretty fucking hard It is, it's, I mean, a ways to go, though. Now we're just gonna get, like, are we gonna get just, like, a little, okay. Get all this footage. Have you been spying on us? Don't worry about it. I'm I'm sure there's I'm sure there's footage. I'm sure the whole thing was well documented. Agent Carolina was supposedly the best. Yeah! The best. She Woo! commanded the team through many successful missions, mastered several martial arts, and her top spot on the leaderboard. Now we get a whole little until a mysterious stranger stat list on her and ruined everything. But we'll get to that later. Well, it's, it's a long a story. It really is. Over the course of her career, she's favored the standard. Oh, look at all these! A grappling hook which can operate in outer space, a humbler stun device which is basically a shock baton, and a long-range BR. I mean, it's a big arsenal. That is a here's the elevator music. An impressive range of over three thousand feet. Ow! Oh, great! Great! Oh, like many other it, something just Carolina fits real well by using Griff for this. Companion. Several right. actually, but for this matchup, we'll be focusing on the time she spent with Epsilon, the right. memory of the original Alpha AI, the director of Fragmented. It's also known as Church. Like the other, I usually call him Church. Experiences time two hundred five times slower than a human being, and therefore drastically so awesome the way that happens. Thoughts and reaction time. Too bad he's kind of an asshole, and by kind of I mean that's basically. I his mean thing. he's that's a grumpy guy. In her post, her mission to track down as much experimental equipment as possible. Who edited this? She did a pretty damn good job. Like Maine, she managed to acquire the domed energy shield, but also picked up. I mean, look at all that. A speed boost and a healing unit. Unfortunately, just one AI fragment isn't enough to run all of this equipment at once. It's In fact, uh, if Carolina's a not lot. Careful, she can accidentally push Epsilon too far and essentially short circuit him. Yeah, for a leader, she's kind of hot headed and super competitive. Like when she Agent Texas joined the freelancer crew and started showing her up, Carolina started making a lot of stupid mistakes. I mean, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on. The director was Carolina's father all along. And Tex was actually the AI fragment memory of his deceased wife. It's it's Meaning it's a Carolina huge drama. Rival for her father's approval was actually her own mother. It's um. Wait, what? Well, you guys and they didn't know. Where have you been? Pay attention. Seriously, <laughs> guys, it's like super obvious. Caboose <laughs> <laughs> is like, like, how could you not? Fuck, dude. Remember when all we used to do was stand around and talk? Yeah, good times. Good. It got a lot. It got very complicated, didn't it? God, it's a out uh, then. <laughs> still love this thing. Regardless, Carolina unnecessary, but still woman. funny. She's defeated several other freelancers, saved an entire planet from civil war. She's got a big old resume. Of a nuclear explosion. 
G and Epsilon were even skilled enough to track down dear old dad after he went into hiding right. just to help him kill himself. Jeez, that got dark. Hey, it, was, it, was, it was dark. It was, oh man, come on, there was an ad before this too, what the heck? I swear there was actually an ad to play through before this started, when I was like loading it up this morning. Sorry guys. Pre-order Diablo 4. Switch to oh, I thought we were gonna be iPhone back. Okay. No, we got a plan. couple seconds. Only it's all good. Arrived. It's all good. Here we go. Santa! I'm your true warrior. <laughs> are we gonna right, go up to the set. Okay, no, I was gonna say, are we gonna mention anything from the finale? It's Guess time not. For a death battle. Oh Lord, here we go. It's yeah. like it's like one of the it's um I've seen videos like this before with these like big battles. Oh, there's okay, there's the whoa, we're doing this guys. This is this is happening. Holy crap. Oh no. I I I just think that Meta Main is so tragic. I don't wanna like see him lose, but I definitely don't want to see Carolina lose. You know what I mean? Hey! Oh, I didn't think we'd ever see it. Oh, I think. Be another garbage <laughs> I mean, they're just not good. Not a good. It's a really, really fun. It's 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 a good time. Uh, I love movies like that. Oh man. Uh. Hey, not oh, like. I want this, but I don't want this. You know what I mean? No. She always calls him Maine. Somebody pointed that out to me. Okay. If we win. Um. Yeah. You. You definitely get to pick the movie on this one. Oh, good lord. Can we just do like a draw? I don't want to. <laughs> I don't know though. Ugh. So we've got Carolina with Epsilon, all the bells and whistles, like to me at her peak. And he's not just me, he is, this is him as the meta. What? Music! What is this music? You sure you can't set that thing to kill? Uh, we might have to. Oh, like the ground is shaking when he moves. It's crazy. This this kind of sounds like Ruby music, doesn't it? I don't know who's doing it, but oh my lord! Whoo! Oh, and see how we got the okay. I'm on it. Scanning. Yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, he's he's probably right behind you, Al! Oh, shoot! All right, we'll go hand in hand. We'll go. I'm, I'm, I'm worried. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. Oh, Al! Are we following the same rules here? Where like, if we push Epsilon too hard, he won't make it? Probably. No! Oh, no! Whoa! Um, I'm very, I'm very concerned. I don't want to see this yet. I do. Which ones? All of them. All, all of the enhancements. See, we're gonna push them, aren't we? What? Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ow! Uh, I don't want to see this. Yeah, I. I don't want to know how it's gonna go. She's not down yet. Oh crap! You got him. Oh, he's he's. Okay, Is he out? What the fuck? Oh, she's out. Okay. Oh, uh, ow! Oh, that's a lot of blood. Ah! Uh. Hey, Woo! Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Oh! I was just gonna say. Pummel her ginger face in and all, but you won't. Pummel her ginger face. So I'm just gonna 
say this one line for you, okay? Just Are you one gonna one use one of the? for one day okay well holy shit i, I gotta say my money was on you have a head under his helmet he was a ghost the whole time i told you so i told easy. you that bruce willis bullshit <laughs> he should have won not true rip as I... the leaderboard proves strength isn't everything strength isn't everything see that's why i'm like i feel like carolina would win and her use of but i was still really 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 worried counter the metas he may have gained an upper hand with his temporal distortion, but Carolina's right. healing unit quickly repaired damage done during the attack. Even That's though the thing. had all that powerful equipment, it drained his suit's energy way too fast. Carolina tried mm. to use all of her equipment at once and failed. Luckily, she had Epsilon to change tactics and focus on recovery. That's Which the thing, it's like... What is perhaps the most important factor of the fight? The relationship between freelancer and artificial intelligence. I was just gonna say, the like, he doesn't know how to... By eight different AI. Yeah. Filling his head with an unintelligible mess of voices and commands. In oh, it's really sad. Epsilon, I mean, they're like a dream the team. With a mutual trust. Both <sighs> capable of making judgment calls to make up for each other's weaknesses. Right. Whatever, so he might have the AI, but he doesn't really yeah, have I that. I can tell the difference between a car and a puma. I can tell the difference. It was a matter but, of comparison. The meta just couldn't... <laughs> we'll get to that another time. <laughs> the winner is Agent Carolina. Yay! Oh, good lord. Um, <laughs> I feel like he's gonna get along well with Boomstick. I like the cut of your jib. I was gonna say, I feel like they're cut from the same cloth. Almost like the sun that I. Never wanted. That's funny. I don't think that's how this thing goes, but Peppy I never had. When I was a kid, he ran out on us to join the army and never came back. Huh. Well, how about Time to move along, I guess. Nothing to see here. Back away slowly. Did we just see what I think we just saw? What a nice guy. Oh dear God! Soothing music! Okay, guys, again, I didn't know I needed that. I didn't know I needed to know who would win. But then there it is. I'll just let it play just as long as I can, just in case. I don't think there's anything after this, but there's like 10 seconds. Okay, no, no, there's not. Um, all right, guys, <laughs> let me load up the next one real quick. Um, okay, now it's playing an ad, and hopefully this ad will just see. That was a longer one. That was like 18 minutes. Or almost 18 minutes. So I'm guessing that's why there was one in between. So hopefully this one we won't have the same problem. Just get it paused up. Oh my god, there's another ad. Okay, then we definitely go with the ads this time. Like if there's another ad in here. Okay, cool. We're loaded up. Um, all right, guys. I don't know where to begin about that. The amazing style that they told that in. That was so fun and just so like, <laughs> I, 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 I'll admit, I am a sucker for like the just gratuitous over the top action stuff. Like what Church was talking about, like, um, you know, a lot of you guys know that I'm into wrestling. Um, and just that whole style of just like, I don't know, it almost kind of reminds me of like monster truck vibes, but with people. <laughs> I, I'm sure there's like a better way to describe this and you guys know yeah I'm not gonna be able to think of it right now but I love that I love Wiz and Boomstick I love that Boomstick is possibly Sarge's long lost child um oh my goodness I can't believe that just happened like tacked on to the end of an episode but so there's that um I and I love the battle itself um the action was so good. The moves were so good. I love all the thought that went into, like, um, how a fight between the two of them, like, just at current, like, at peak levels would go. And I gotta say, I agree that, like, 
brute force, like meta, oh my goodness, scares the crap out of me. But it's not all about scariness. It's kind of about strategy. Just like, I mean, lots of other series I watch are just the same. Like, it's not all just raw power. It's kind of how you use it. Um, and, you know, Carolina and Church just have that, like, that connection, you know? Um, and it's just, it's sad for Meta, I think, because, like, he didn't really have, Maine didn't really, Maine was, the story of Maine was a tragedy. Like, he, he was overcome by, um, the AI as opposed to, like, had any kind of, like, meaningful sort of, like, trust-based connection with them. Um, so it's sad but true, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> Caboose's reaction. Oh my god, the whole thing was just so good. I, I did not know that I needed it, honestly. So, all right, guys. Um, so that was um, the first story in our batch today. We have three left, so let's move on to the next one. Let's go. And I will say the sound is actually pretty good. I don't think it needs to be adjusted or anything, because I was wondering that on the last one. All right, I got a joke Sick. for you. What's black what is and it? white and red all over? Oh, snap, wait, wait, the joke doesn't make any sense until you see the next story. Okay, so I'll just describe it to you then, so you'll get my joke. Uh, it's about another group of reds and blues, and okay. it's really funny, and, uh, okay. man, you know what? I'm just gonna keep working on the material. Well, just, just start over, just so. Gra oh! Gray versus gray spelled differently. Two different spellings of gray. I don't care what you're trying to say. What I'm actually saying oh. is... My red-hearted mama always told me not to trust a dirty blue, and I'm sure not gonna start now. Quiet. Oh. Been here for three what hours. on earth we is happening? compromise on anything. We're no closer to peace than when we started. Well, Hutch, we'd already have peace if you reds would all just die already. Like decent people. So this people. is a negotiation? Surrender. After you're all dead... The voices, With though. In control of your men, need I remind you we're locked in here and those doors won't open until we reach an agreement. Oh. We're all dead. Who's I that see. Anyway? Mine. Deal with it. Well, looks like we gotta get oh. some peacemaking or we're gonna be in more trouble than a bull moose in Blood Gulch. <laughs> oh, God, why do I keep spitting on my helmet? <laughs> what are the odds of us actually reaching peace? <laughs> Statistically insignificant, my dear naive squatch. We're as good as dead. Fine by me. The only good red is a dead red. A dead red with pet head. And a lead shed. What? Oh, now Start we're... Off, boys. Now we're rhyming? Okay, now we're rhyming. Side you're on here. Sorry, Edge. Got I'm going to have so much there. trouble no way I'm keeping track in grayscale. Mud sucking blue. That's it. We're out of here. Deuce, bust open those doors. You're leaving over my dead body. Oh! Oh, interesting chattering followed by a shotgun shot. Ah! Oh my god. Now it's a murder mystery. I gotta get out of here. Don't even bother, Squatch. Those doors aren't opening. Reg is correct. We're not leaving until we find peace. What on earth happens? Well, it's obvious who shot Hutch. It was when? Me? Why me? Well, now it's gonna become like a okay. Now it's a like clue. Yeah, see, my commander wouldn't hurt a fly. Yeah. Oh, wait. I believe it was you who said the only good red is a dead red. What? You're accusing me now? You're the one with those weird-looking shifty eyes. I mean, look at him. I did. Yes. How many? Right now. Yes. Just like killing me. Ah! <laughs> hey, look, we gotta sort this out. Now let's try what we used to do back home on Alpha Centauri. A good old fashioned lineup. <laughs> good idea, Cos. Everybody stand against that wall. <coughs> I can't. Oh, there's just so many characters in here. Like, not just like characters as in people, like, they're uh, isn't there a, a character. That identifies the suspect? Oh. Right. Here's how we're gonna do it. One Death, one, yes, it doesn't quite work that way. Say, I shot Hutch. You first, cop. What is that? All right. I shot Hutch. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's shoot. not how this works. Me to say. This isn't gonna work. No lineup. Okay. Voice sounds Everybody familiar. Everybody say, I shot Hutch. Oh, great idea, Wynn. Don't sass me, Squatch. Any other bright <laughs> idea. Don't sass me. I suppose we could... Wait a second. Well, 
can... It doesn't seem right. Uh-oh! Where's my third red? Reds come here. Blue stayed there. Uh-oh! Okay. Wait, what is happening here? Yeah, hold on. I'm a little confused. I'm very Blue, confused. Blue, will you just call your man over? Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, Squatch, bring our guy over. What? Why me? What in heaven? Are they seeing in grayscale so too? Well, you all look the same. No, we don't. We're red. You know, the color of tomatoes, celery, the ocean. Celery's not red. It's blue. That, what that, are you? Is this stupid? Celery's purple. Celery's purple. What on earth? What on earth? Okay, then then that's what's okay. So uh, how pointless you is it then to be that you can't see colors? Well Can any of them? No, I was gonna fine. say yeah. Um okay, yeah, cards on the table. I just see everything in shades of gray. You yeah, know, I guess amazing. why are we even doing this? Oh, see how see well, see how appears we are all Are they trying to make point colorblind? <laughs> what are the odds of that? So you mean all of us have been fighting blue versus red this whole time, and nobody could see color? That is... Always on opposite sides of the map. And I always thought those were random code names like Delta Squad or Green Team. All right, all right, everyone calm down. No, we had a way that's... Of settling disputes like this back on good old Casio PIA. <laughs> yeah, <sorry, laughs> yes, they are. Big glowing planets. <laughs> good, yes. Fight. Wait, Ooh. who the hell are you? Uh, I'm one of you reds, uh, obviously. Deuce. I, I mean, us reds. Uh, uh, us reds, yeah, see? What is Deuce, really going on you. here? You got a two on your shoulder. Ah, uh, but our dear Regina pairs the same symbol. Yeah, and I'm clearly red. Yeah, see? That's exactly what Deuce would say. Red is a girl. Damn right I am. Deuce, why the hell are you trying to switch sides anyway? Hey, you gotta answer him! Alright, screw uh, this! I'm killing uh, both! Uh, yes, excellent! What? Hey! Well, okay, I'm uh, suspicious that uh, Mario uh, seems uh, to be instigating quite wait, a bit. The guns! Huh? Whoever shot Hutch will be missing a bullet. Mm. See? Full clip. Was That's me? actually a really good idea. So, uh, who's next? How about you, Squatch? <laughs> Come on, Squatch. Show us your gun. <laughs> What's wrong, dear Squatch? <laughs> Something to hide. Okay, I'm very concerned about Marlo. Fine, it was me. I killed Hutch. <sighs> I didn't mean to. The lights went out and, and I panicked. I get jumpy in the dark. I, oh. I swear I didn't mean it. Wait, 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 wait. Just a car shut Now that I think about it, I heard a shotgun go off. That ain't a shotgun. Oh, yes, so fun, but I'm afraid. Wait, it was me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> an idiot. Yeah, see, killing's all I've ever been good at. If we had peace, I just don't know what I'd do. Thanks, Deuce, but I'm afraid I've got to come clean. Did they I all shot shoot us? When the lights went out, I saw my opportunity to strike. What? I'm not lying, Win. I shot him too. I always so everyone shot. I'd make for a much better leader. Just listen to my accent. Except what? for then that means what's her name? We all shot Hutch. Yes, except for Reg. It seems. <laughs> all right, you got me. I swapped guns with Hutch after I shot him. You I, see, I, when I was first stationed here, Hutch stole my rations, and from that day forward, I... all right, all oh right. Oh my goodness! Wow. Well, shucks, we all shot him at exactly the same this time. This is taking exactly such a turn. Place. What are the odds of that? <laughs> well, if we're being completely honest with each other, I think this is for the best. I mean, I never really wanted peace. Oh, get out of town. I don't want a truce either. Yeah, I was just kind of... That is not where I saw this heading. Well, that is just too funny. You know, I'm glad we were able to set our differences aside and come to a unanimous peaceful resolution. Oh, a peaceful resolution to not have peace. Ah! What on earth? 
A subsequent and now they're all dead. revealed that Hush died of a heart attack immediately after the lights went out. <gasps> no kidding! What a goddamn shame. What? Oh! That is... Guys, that was like silly, but also really kind of sad and insightful. Was it supposed to be sad and insightful? Because I can't help looking at that and being like, that's just so ridiculous, yet... It makes a horrible, sad degree of sense with, like, everything that I know about the world. <laughs> oh, my God! I don't know what to make of that one. That was, like, all over the place. Let me load up the next one. Hang on. It's it's playing through the ad. Oh, it's going to let me skip this one. Yay. Okay, let me get it loaded up. Sorry, guys. Um, okay. That... <laughs> That one was like, I didn't know where they were taking that. Because at first I'm like, oh, clearly they're trying to make like a statement here, right? Like it's it's kind of like silly at the end of the day where like it's, we're not that different or whatever. Um, and the fact that they couldn't see in color either, they were all seeing in grayscale. And I'm like, oh, okay. So then it's extra like pointless that we're doing this. And then the fact that like, Marlo was clearly instigating and and kind of like egging a lot of it on. And then they just, they all shot Hutch. Everyone shot Hutch. And then they all decided to like peacefully resolve this by killing each other. When Hutch, in fact, died of a heart attack. There is a, there is, there is, there is a lesson in there. And honestly, like, that, <laughs> the tone was just, like, it was silly and funny at the same time, like, sort of, like, tragically ironic in a way. I do have to say that one of the big takeaways for me was a yeah guy. You don't, you don't get enough villains saying, yeah, see? You don't, you just don't see that anymore. You don't hear it. And I, I, I personally was, um, was very entertained. Um, but wow! What on earth? Okay, well, that was very interesting. Let's move on to the next one. Oh my god, the title. I, I think I'm gonna like this one a lot. Alrighty, amigos, it's time for another one of Vic's stories. Now, this time, I was thinking of hitting you all with the origin of... Friendship. Uh, Friendship? Whoa, dude. How did you get in here? I used the door. You used the door <laughs> to get into this fourth wall breaking episode prologue? You yes. had a door to do that? It's not yeah, the weirdest thing he's ever done. Went down by the bed thread through. I am not even mad. Call her me impressed. <laughs> so Milka you, Bruce is here. You know, story or something, dude? Tell us a yeah, story. Thank you, Frankie. Well, Yay. all right, Blue Amigo. The floor is yours. Yay! <gasps> Hello. Yes! My name is Caboose. Hi, Caboose! Um, excuse me. Um, yeah, I said, uh, Caboose. Uh, Caboose. Thank you. Yeah, so, anyway, That's yes. for a really long time, I lived in this canyon. And it was pretty great. Uh, that's all, friends. that's, um, really that's close. <laughs> Slowly move away. But not because I'm psychic. Whoa. You're thinking, Caboose, how did you get so good at making friends? I like to make friends too. We could have sandwiches together. Well, Yay! Oh, yeah. Okay. But only if you share those sandwiches and the dinner. Absolutely. Your um, yes. First. A thousand times yes. You know what makes good friend material? Makes good friend material. Mainly because it is soft. And it's very poofy and soft. But oh, it gets squeaky too. It catches on fire pretty easy. The, the, the flammability the would be bad. Cactus. Snow. Kind of prickly. It will melt. Snow. Mm -hmm. Spiders. Rock. Oh, spiders. And okay. <laughs> Thank you for personal experience. I really like metal. Metal? metal well, there we go. The best material for making friends okay, makes metal. sense. Very durable. Not as cuddly, but durable. Oh! It eventually warms up. It eventually warms up as you hug and get the love. 
figure out what kind of friend you want to make. Okay. Sometimes it's good to have a friend that listens to you when you talk. Especially when you get to the part where you saved them and they called you a hero and not a bad day. That is always a plus. Sometimes yes. It's good to have a friend that will go on adventures with you. Oh! Hey, you <laughs> Yeah, Just also push them right out of their comfort zone. Hard work. Yeah, it's not easy. For you. They give you a piggyback ride. Oh, cool. Murder evil soldiers. A lot of good benefits here okay, of having a friend. Hard time. You have to be there for them too. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Great, but there is nothing better. Now he's in the best friend. I mean, except for baby ice cream. Ice cream is, is right up there. Talking horse. Well, I mean, how can you beat that? Ice cream and a talking horse. You can talk to about anything. You can spend all your time with them, tell them secrets, you know, talk about how Tucker is I why is this making me sad? It's just He's the he's the worst. Something to talk about. You will lose a friend. Stop. Sometimes even your best friend. I'm wearing like the best and worst t-shirt for this as well. Maybe you get into a fight. Maybe they're destroyed an electromagnetic pulse. Happens. Happen. It's just a sad, 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 sad. It's really sad. sad, sad How did it go in this direction? What? But you know, I think the very best thing about friends, well, the thing most people forget about anyways. That no matter how many friends you do lose, you can always make more. That's true. It's never really over when it comes to Andy. friendship. That's pretty neat. Why did that make me? How? 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 Somebody explain to me how that went from. Oh! Oh! Okay, no, we're done. Oh, great! I did not think I was going to cry during this reaction. I would not have filmed this first of many reactions I have to film today. Um, somebody explain to me how that fun, silly, just turned so sad so quickly. <laughs> when, <laughs> let me load up the next one. Oh, good, it's a pizza commercial. That all that will help me. That will reinvigorate me. Okay. Um. So, as soon as I saw him with the little church epsilon flying around, I'm like, oh. But sometimes friendship takes a sad direction too. Sometimes you lose friends in various ways, and just to see him deal with that in like his own just kind of very pure way um, broke me. It broke me. And it got me thinking so much about the finale of last season and all that we're going to have to deal with when we finally get to the fallout of all that. Um, I, I, I made a rookie mistake and had no tissues nearby, so just going to have to deal with the tears. Um... That was so good. I mean, it was, it just, it was everything I thought it was going to be. And I just did not see it turning so heartbreakingly beautiful and sad at the end. Um, I will not go into specifics because I don't know who's seen what of whoever's watching this. But anyone who knows, just know that I am wearing the best and worst t-shirt for this occasion. And yes, it did very much make me think of that which did not help with the tears but even just thinking about um I, I started thinking of it as soon as he was like very clearly talking about church I'm like oh god no <sighs> I want to hug Caboose so bad but he's right he's right that no matter how many friends you lose you can always make more friends I just wish we had not lost that particular friend. And that makes me very sad. That one made me very sad. I do not like it.
I do though. I did like it, but it did make me very sad. Um, we had just been, <laughs> I don't know what is going on with the tone. Like, I just got a little bit of every, and we've had, we're not even done. We're on the last one right now. Um, the tones of these various stories have been very eclectic today. Let's go on to the next one and see what they got for us. Let's go. Oh man, I did not think I was gonna be crying. That was so heartbreaking. Around the end of their time, David. blood coats, the reds and blues had a run in with one bad brochacho, the AI <sighs> Omega, AKA O'Malley, AKA mm -hmm. Lord Satan Von Kills a lot. This oh, well, that is, I guess, another name. Brains via their helmet radios, making them do all sorts of evil stuff. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I, remember. I don't get how it works either, but man, what I it's would be to see what he saw inside of their heads. If only there oh my was God. some kind of short story that was... If only! <laughs> oh, yeah! Ha had... Ca had canon. Had ca The The writers of this are too clever for their own Come good. On, so you I know that? You, you fuckstick! Oh, wow. Come out, Caboose. All we want no, to do is shoot you. leave him Don't alone. It's a trick. This is Freelancer Text broadcasting on an open this channel. Private text. church broadcasting on an open channel. Why are the blues on the radio? Who knows? Hey, blue, shut the fuck up. Get off our radio. And oh, our I know down. where we're at. Okay. <laughs> now I know. Now I think I know. Yes, your Pop goes out. <laughs> with your body. You exact my diabolical. Wait a minute. What's this? The news? No. No! This is not the brain I meant to invest! Oh my, a guest. Hello there. We have a guest. Griff, you idiot. Fetch his coat and give him a <laughs> glass of our finest Irish whiskey. <laughs> Do I have to? I'm just so lazy and gross, and I'm pretty sure I disrespect you behind your back. I just can't prove it yet. Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Oh, good lord! Are we gonna get to see all of them? Are we gonna Sorry get to see that? the insides of all I'm their so minds? Welcome to Shea Simon. It's not <laughs> Shea Simon! I'm leaving. What? But, but you just got here. You can't leave. If you attempt to hold me against my will, I shall remove your eyes from your tiny skull and replace them with ping pong balls with Very specific. Drawn on them. Yeah, I, I, you know, that's actually kind of polite that you would draw Stand similar down, eyes. Stand down. I'm sure it's of course, just a of course, of course, of Nothing course, this is how it works. About. Understood. But if he gets up to any funny business, kapow! <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, Sarge, you're the best commanding officer a gentleman could ask for. <laughs> well, that just means the world to me. Uh, from here, son. Oh, okay. Or well, a celestial body. But it's no. A way of telling you that you're secretly my true offspring. There's a lot of that going around this batch, is there not? Or to anyone else. He wants to leave now. He wants to leave. Oh boy, I can't wait to show you around. I've been planning for this day for a very long time. Oh, he's he really would like the company. You can never be too careful. I mean, I have some saved up extra credit homework for my twelfth calculus class. I figured we could do that together, then daydream about all the pretty girls I had a crush on in college. I remember all of them. Uh, they usually hang out next okay. to the repressed memories I have of them rejecting me. And where is that? Gotcha, you know, okay. I don't remember. Oh, well, yeah, oh, that makes sense. For that <laughs> He's, ow! Now, or I will kill every last one of you. And then everyone so else here as well. This is Just what was, voice. okay, gotcha. <laughs> Evil nerdy <laughs> laughter. Did I say that? We said it, you fool. I'm in control now. <laughs> Whoa, I sound badass. Make me tell Griff to suck it. Suck it, you fool. And what's wrong with your voice? Nothing. Why does something have to be wrong with my voice? Maybe something's wrong with your voice. Ever think about that, cocksucker? Shit, no. No, 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 no. Sarge is gonna kill me. So this I mean, is what was going on. Sir. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, yeah. dear God. Happy you dimwit. Yep, nailed it, asshole. Simmons is getting a promotion. <laughs> Ow, the back oh. of my lower legs. <laughs> we're just narrating all the places where we're getting hit. Tex, give me the controls back. You're doing it wrong. Not a chance, you paper skinned nitwit. Listen to me. You've been walked all over your entire life. Oh, is he giving him like a pep talk right now? Wow. 
Yeah. Oh, I have yeah. Sneaky Foley. Yeah, I am. I am ready. Good. God. <laughs> <laughs> and together, we will rule this galaxy in that church. Oh, so Are we villainy. Still talking on the radio? No, thank God, an exit. Oh, oh no. and I he's gone. I said I was ready. No. Oh. Hey, this is just like that Poor time with your dad. Shut up. Oh. Because <laughs> I'd love to talk on the radio. What? What am I doing in this idiot? He can ah. be jerk. <laughs> the noise? Sarge, I need you to do me a favor. I like oh, you. Oh, 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 there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot going on. There's, okay. For some reason. Oh, dear. I'm going to kill all of you. Ha! Ah, it's Tex. Run away! Ah. Hey, O'Malley. <laughs> Well, look who it is. <laughs> I don't want to fight <laughs> you. I want to talk. Oh! <laughs> it appears you're finally ready to play our little game. Very well. Let's talk, Tex. Assuming, of course, no one will barge in here and force me out of this... Oh! There we go. I but feel I set myself up for that one. <laughs> Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Oh! Welcome the man of the hour! Franklin! Thank you! Thank you! The pleasure is all mine! Oh dear God, please tell me I'm not where I think I am. Well, hey there, Omega! Welcome to my lightish red head! Lightish red head! See, it just rolls off the tongue. You got it, buddy! The cool kids all call it the donut hole anyway. The do- oh! Oh! Okay! I, I like it, personally. I think it's a no, cute name. It's my body! It's my choice! And another thing, why do I do as much work as you guys, but I only make 92%- Blast! Where the devil am I now? Freeze, dirtbag! Oh, god damn it. All right, sir. <laughs> I want break a name on the pronto. Got a war to win! Alas, I have tripped! Alas, <laughs> Alas I have tripped! And senility keeps trying to overtake the hippocampus. Who are they? Oh, so that, okay, so this is what this... Oh, I see. Okay, well, that's not very surprising, actually. It's, it's how it looks in there. Oh! Oh, it's, it's very minimalistic! Eh, who's got time for that? He keeps it, he keeps it simple. everyone likes me! <laughs> There's just one in there. I got a laugh. Nobody moves. The laugh, though. I can't take it anymore. He's probably getting pretty tired. This place, it feels familiar. What is this? Divine sounds, angelic music. <gasps> uh, hey. It's I. Your bleak butt here to take over my brain. I, uh, this kind wait, of makes sense, honestly. <sighs> Look, man, I've been running this mess all by myself for years. If you really want a piece of this bullshit, then by all means. Yeah, I really can cannot together. be bothered to care at this point. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is it. Finally! I've never felt more at home. I've never felt more alive! This is it! There's a big <laughs> for all! Nothing can stop us now! Church, nothing can stop us! Oh! Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. That makes total sense. That, all of that made sense. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, and there's the songs. I wonder if there's like an actual like soundtrack soundtrack for this one. I mean, there's a lot of music in it. Um, guys. <laughs> Again, I never knew I needed just, I never knew I needed to know the specifics. And, and, and I did. I absolutely did. I absolutely needed it. I absolutely needed it, you guys. Um, that was so much fun and just so all, I think I hit like every emotion there is because we had, 
we had the first one that was just like action, just really played off of like all of the like, kind of like the big corny over the top action stuff just that they were referencing in the, in the, in the, in the episode. And it just, I like, I needed to know that. I didn't know I needed to know that, but I needed to know. It was actually very interesting. It was very well done, very thoughtful, um, a lot of detail. Um, and then you had the, the second one was just so like, going back and forth between kind of like slapstick and philosophical that I'm just like, I don't know what happened, but that was interesting. That meant something. Then you had the third one that was so wholesome and pure until it just reached in and ripped my heart out and ate it for breakfast. Um, and then you had this last one that was just... <laughs> So I've seen the inside of Caboose's mind, but I gotta say, it was very interesting to see the inside of everyone else's, and it all added up. It added up really well. Like, Simmons, it added up. Gr I love how Gris was so, like, of course he wouldn't go just full out, you know. Of course it wouldn't be busy, you know what I mean? <laughs> Griff, Griff and busy don't fit in the same sentence. But I love that there was just, like, the one little... <laughs> Like a little mouse squeaking by <laughs> Simmons. He's like, hey! <laughs> oh, man. I mean, you almost have to feel bad for Omega in that situation, right? That, like, that's... He went through a lot. He went through a lot. Um, and then just getting, like, talk with the Alpha for a minute. The Alpha's just like, look, I can use all the help I could get. Until then, it just ended in smack. Um... <laughs> Sarge. So, of course, Sarge would have, like, Griff killing stress relief. Of course. Um, oh, guys. That was really, really good. What a batch. Like, uh, we just seriously got a little bit of everything in that batch. Like, literally, I hit every emotion. That was so good. You never know what you're going to get. You never know what you're going to get on this on this season specifically. I mean, I guess you could say that kind of about... about uh, red versus blue in general, just that like they've they've gone to a lot of different places on this show, and I guess maybe that's what makes something like this season so interesting is that we know they can do really intense drama, really awesome hilarious comedy, really just silly goofiness, really great action. They could do anything they want in this season. They could hit any one of those, and that last one I feel like just hit all of it. <laughs> So, yeah, I had to go fix my makeup now because I was not betting on crying during this. I did not think Revers Blue Season 14 was going to be what got me today. I did not. And here I stand corrected. Um, great, great, great batch. I don't know how many more. How many more do we have left? I have, a, I have a couple more. I have a couple more. But, I mean, we're really making our way through it. I have just been having a blast. Every once in a while, they remind me, like, hey, remember what happened at the end of the last season? And how, like, we're going to deal with that. And I'm like, oh, my God. Yes, I do remember that. And holy crap, no, we have not dealt with it. But they just, I mean, it's just, it's so, it's so fun. It's so fun. I should be mad that we haven't dealt with that yet. And I, I can't. I can't be mad. Because I'm just having too much fun. I'm having too much fun. So, all right, guys. That was excellent. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please. Oh, my God. When they can rip my guts out with a, a five-minute caboose story, please don't leave me alone. Please don't leave me on my own with this. I will definitely need your help. So, please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.